Katrina. Um, can I just start by uh, saying uh, congratulations to everybody. Um, outstanding result at the weekend and uh, um, I'm just so proud of um, what our students have done. Uh, particularly, I think, given that this uh, Lincoln University Rugby Club uh, in its present form has only been going for three years. When we decided in 2008 that we were going to uh, uh, establish a rugby club for our students on our campus, it um, wasn't a particularly difficult decision to make for some of us, and uh, I think we're now seeing the rewards. So that the two Colts teams who won their trophy competitions, well done, um, to the Division Two and Division 1 teams, uh, fantastic results. Uh, I'm particularly impressed that the Division 1 team got into the top half of the competition at the, uh, by the final round. I think that's a stunning result. We always knew in 2008 and the start of 2009 that it would take a bit of time to get uh, this club re-established. Your achievement, um, achievements is really significant but clearly could not happen without the support of a lot of other people and I just acknowledge the coaches that have uh, supported you through the season, the team from the Recreation Centre and other members of staff uh, and people from outside that have supported you uh, through the season uh, because your results would not have been possible without their assistance. So I really do congratulate you. I think 130 years of rugby at this institution uh, which we're celebrating this year could not have um, perhaps got off to a, uh, a mid-season better start than what we're seeing now. Now, some of you might know um, that I've got a reasonable amount of history around this institution. Um, and in fact, in the, in the early 1970s, I was secretary of the, what was the Lincoln College Rugby Club. And the last time that I can remember uh, the rugby teams and other people in the university assembling outside of the library uh, was in 1972. The library was over there behind you at that stage and there was a large gathering to celebrate uh, two All Blacks, Ian Hurst and Duncan Hales, who had been selected for the All Blacks to travel to the UK uh, over that winter period and we had a farewell for them. And I think in uh, concluding I'd just like to acknowledge that uh, one of our members wasn't with you at the weekend because he was playing for the All Blacks and that's Sam Whitelock and we wish him and the other ex or current Lincoln students that are part of, we hope, the All Black squad, uh, real success and I hope they can uh, do as well as you guys have done. Thank you very much indeed.